Thanks for staying with us, uh, everyone. Uh, a quick reminder here, tomorrow at Ostet will be having a new taste of another leadership from uh, the governor-elect as uh, inauguration holds uh, uh, on the day. And also don't forget that a big moment for Ondo election is on November 28. Uh, on Politics Today, we'll be bringing you all of those highlights from the big political watches and uh, participants of that election. Now back to our business of the day. U.S. President-elect Donald Trump has met with his soon-to-be predecessor, for the first time, meeting Barack Obama face to face at the White House, where he's expected to run the government from January 20th next year. The meeting is the first ever between the two men under any circumstances. But after the bitter rhetoric of the polls, Trump described President Obama as a good man. Now, it was a meeting aimed at initiating a smooth transition between the outgoing and the incoming administrations, although the aftermath of the election has been overshadowed by anti-Trump protests across some major cities in the U.S. The attention has also shifted to the anticipated composition of the Trump administration's cabinet. Earlier today, Mr. Trump tweeted that he would be making some very important decisions on who would be involved in running the government. We'll look at all of that uh, pretty much later. But joining us now is uh, China's TV correspondent uh, who joins us via Skype from Washington, D.C., Ayo Tunde Balogun. Ayo, good to have you join us again. And uh, looking at the protest and a couple of other issues, perhaps you should tell us what exactly is happening at the moment since uh, the protests haven't abated yet. Well, it's a great to, yeah, indeed, it's been great to uh, watching uh, events unfold uh, after the elections. And uh, uh, first of all, let me uh, thank you, Sulaiman, for having me on uh, the uh, show. Uh, yes, it's been three days running now since we've been witnessing anti-Donald Trump protests from thousands of demonstrators across the United States. I can tell you, in at least 10 cities across the United States, we've been having uh, uh, news and scenes of riots, graffiti burning, uh, talk about uh, uh, effigies, uh, you know, burning effigies of Donald Trump, and of course, vandalism on a large scale uh, from uh, protesters uh, who say they do not wish or they do not want uh, Donald Trump to represent them as the President of the United States. And it appears in Portland, Oregon, that's where uh, the searchlight is beaming right and now, it's, uh, uh, that's the city that is getting much of the heat even as we speak. And security operatives have been having a pretty much of a hard time, you know, dealing with the uh, protesters there, uh, clashing with them. Uh, the vandalism, I tell you, is really on a large scale. But there have been arrests made so far uh, from the security operatives, uh, uh, over a little over 20. And uh, definitely we are keeping tabs on uh, that uh, one as it unfolds in Portland, Oregon. But really, uh, generally speaking, it hasn't uh, been a good one for uh, the uh, uh, supporters of uh, Hillary Clinton who uh, wished that she would become the uh, next president after uh, casting their ballots on November the 8th. But that is not the case, and they are so, so angry, I tell you, Sulaiman. And uh, for Donald Trump, who's the president-elect, he's already come out to uh, kick against the uh, the actions of the protesters, calling it unfair. And there's a, a Twitter uh, page uh, yesterday. He uh, he definitely criticized the uh, actions of the protesters, but he was quick though to add that uh, when he becomes a president, that's on January the 20th, 2017, he will definitely work to uh, keep all Americans united. Uh, these are hard times, and unity, he says, is uh, one of the priorities uh, for his uh, administration. So the protest really is very much in full swing. Here in Washington, D.C., it's pretty much uh, calm. We've not really had uh, so much of a uh, uh, wild protest or destruction of property, as it were, because the uh, security operatives right here, uh, they seem to be on an alert. Uh, they've been put on a high alert to ensure that uh, uh, no one gets into uh, the streets to foment any uh, trouble. So it's been pretty much peaceful. Of course, you know that this is the seat of power here in Washington, D.C. And like you uh, already said, that Donald Trump uh, visiting the President Barack Obama uh, to see how they can uh, come out with a smooth transition. So, so many things are happening even as we speak, but Absolutely. definitely uh, the protests haven't, uh, they, they really haven't uh, helped matters at all. Sulaiman? 
Well, good a time uh, for you to be there, right, uh, and in D.C. to fill us in on happenings there. Many thanks, Ayatollah Balogun. Uh, very quickly here, uh, President-elect Donald Trump has been speaking, and uh, for those who missed out on the promises he's got for the American people, here it is again. Working together, we will begin the urgent task of rebuilding our nation and renewing the American dream. I've spent my entire life in business looking at the untapped potential in projects and in people all over the world. That is now what I want to do for our country. <laughs> tremendous potential. I've gotten to know our country so well. Tremendous potential. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Every single American will have the opportunity to realize his or her fullest potential. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. We are going to fix our inner cities and rebuild our highways, bridges, tunnels, airports, schools, hospitals. We're going to rebuild our infrastructure, which will become by the way, second to none. And we will put millions of our people to work as we rebuild it. We will also finally take care of our great veterans. We will double our growth and have the strongest economy anywhere in the world. At the same time, we will get along with all other nations willing to get along with us. We will be. We'll have great relationships. We expect to have great, great relationships.